Hello, welcome to Audio Learn. My name is Prophet Praise. You can call me Adrian Kesi. I am an educational counselor and a memory expert. I've taught countless students, so many people, of how to become intelligent, of how to identify the intelligence and the genius in you to excel in school in your exams. I'm here to also help you become one of the best students your school has ever produced. I'm here to come and show you how you can get into yourself of, and, and bring out the intelligence God gave you. Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 16 that we have the mind of Christ. So if you have the mind of Christ, you believe that you can do everything with your mind everything is possible when your mind is anointed by god it is possible maybe you are discouraged in life that since you were born you you you, you have identified yourself to be somebody who doesn't know anything somebody who is a, a, an average student but i tell you there's intelligence and there's genius in you i'm here to help you bring it out i've helped so many people and I know that I'll be a blessing to you. So stay tuned, like this video. Most importantly, subscribe. We want to create a family. We want to create a community. So do subscribe to this video and God will richly bless you. Today we are coming to talk about some memory myths out there. We have so many myths and, and these principles and systems and techniques are not true. No matter how you practice them, you cannot succeed. So number one, People say someone has a photographic brain and I tell you that no brain works like a camera. We don't have any photographic brain. It's just a myth. No one has a photographic brain. Like everybody will just go and sleep. When you wake up, you use the camera in your mind to snap information and you go to the exam room and you just write and pass nobody has a photographic brain we all train to become perfect we all train our minds your mind is like a muscle when you stretch it it will become so strong so people who are intelligent learn people who are intelligent to read people who are intelligent research and study so no one has a photographic brain and your brain is so special and unique. No one has the same brain as you. The right side is the right hemisphere. The left side is the left hemisphere. When you do your hands like this, you put it here, you put it here. This is, the, this is how large your brain is, how big your brain is, your right and your left. So your brain is unique. When Einstein died, researchers and scientists divided his brain and saw that his brain was wired differently. So I believe your brain has also been wired differently. You just need to discover yourself. So number one, I said no one has a photographic brain. You just have to train your brain. You just have to train your memory. You just have to train your sensory, your short term and long term. These are the three memory systems you need to understand. The three memory systems you need to understand they are sensory short-term memory and long-term memory why do you learn and later forget why do you spend sleepless night and in the morning during the exams you can't recall and retrieve the information so you don't have a photographic brain but you can train your brain you can train your mind to receive information to retain information and after that be able to retrieve information you can train your mind that way remembering number two remembering is hard work remember don't be discouraged when you learn in the classroom and one particular student always gets it don't be discouraged everyone as I've told you has been wired in the brain differently Isaac has a different brain, Samuel has a different brain, Prosla has a different brain, Emma has a different brain. So people have different brains, they have been wired differently. All you need to do is to discover how your brain works. You need to discover how your body responds to learning. 
and that is the secret of learning so these two met are out there a photographic brain i said no one has a photographic brain we all train our brains to become powerful and number two remembering is hard work if anyone tells you that you can i can give you systems and techniques so that you remember things easily it's a lie remembering is hard work remembering takes discipline and if you want to be a good student who learns and can retrieve the information you need to understand how god created the brain to remember things and i promise you when you discover you become an excellent student so remembering is hard work but you if you persist to practice and rehearse methods and some techniques i'm coming to teach you and show you on this channel it will be amazing you will just love it so there are so many things about today i am yet i'm just here to congratulate you and to encourage you that it is not over yet i'm here also for final year student if you are final year student out there don't be afraid be easy don't be afraid wasi wasi candidates don't be afraid if even it has left with three days for you to write the exams and you change your mind today you change your attitude today you will pass and these same principles i'm coming to give you will help you audio learn will will be here four to five times a week to bring you updates to bring you reviews to bring you things maybe you might not have even heard of and these are pure practical things it is not theory they are practical i am here to help you become the best student in your class to become the best student i am here to help you to break records in your school and to set records in your school you want to be the award-winning student then stick around subscribe and comment god bless you bye bye